you three notes now, C, D and E. Okay, so let's have a look at C. C is here, it's fret one of the B string. D is here, which is fret three of the B string. And E is the open, is the open E string. So C, D, and E. So you can see C is the third gap up. D is on that line above the C. And E is on that fourth gap up. To give you some extra information there, that filled circle, the black circle, has a tail. And when it looks like that, it's worth one beat. Okay, so so far I'm just showing you what's called a crotchet, and it lasts for one beat. It's also known as a quarter note. So now let's go ahead and play the beginning of a simple tune I think we all know, Frere Jacques. Okay, so we're going to start at 50 BPM. So I'm going to count in one, two, three, four. Try another one again just with three notes with C, D, and E. Can you see which note I'm starting with now? I'll give you a second to think about it. So that note is an E. So this sequence of notes is going to be E, D, C. Now, if you notice, the C is not as it was before, it's got like a hole in it, it's like hollow. So it's still got a tail, and we call this a minim. So that's worth two beats. So we've got E for one beat, D for one beat, and C for two beats. As you see, we're going to play those notes twice. So ready? One, two, three, four. Finally, we're going to play a longer melody called Au Clair de la Lune. Looking more closely, it looks quite familiar. We've got those filled in notes at the beginning. Then we've got um, the two empty hollow notes uh, in bar two. That's an E and a D. And then we've got four crotchets, filled in notes again. But at the end, we've got just like a circle with no tail. So that's, we don't know that, do we? That one is called a semi-breve, and it's going to last for a full four beats. So it's literally going to be like one, two, three, four. So imagine a note that just keeps going one, two, three, four. In this case, it's the note C. One, two, three, four. So you count, you just play one note, but you count four beats. One two, three, four. I hope you enjoyed that video on playing and reading the notes C, D and E. In the next video, I'll be adding notes F and G as well. So we'll be able to play a classical theme by Beethoven. So hopefully you can join me on that one. And uh, in the meantime, check my playlist for uh, beginner and intermediate guitar lessons. And I will see you soon.